Lost Caverns of Ixalan has all kinds of new things to check out, and the hint for one of them, well, it's right in the name. Good morning, Magic, I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and while Ixalan has big, splashy mechanics like craft, twists on older mechanics like how Discover is a riff on Cascade, and even a straight-up returning mechanic in Explore, there's one new thing that's a bit atypical I want to focus on today, caves. What's the deal with them, and what can you expect? Well, let's go spelunking. Okay, so let me tell you a bit about what to expect with caves. Cave is a new land subtype, debuting in this set. It doesn't mean anything inherently. It doesn't mean they tap for cave mana or anything like that. Though, if you use one to cast cave in or cave people, more power to you. The thing I would most closely compare them to are gates, from Return to Ravnica and Guilds of Ravnica blocks, as well as Battle at Baldur's Gate. Gates are just lands, but other cards care about them, whether searching them up or getting bonuses for having them in play. And even though just simple lands, they turned out to be fan favorites. I know I've seen people try to run to the maze's end quite a few times, and if you've played Popper recently, you know how brutal a Basilisk gate can be. Caves are something very much built in the same kind of way, an additional thing going on in the set that spans all five colors. It's not a specific limited pair archetype. I'll get into what to expect with the limited archetypes in an upcoming video, but it's just a light and flavorful little touch in the set. As you draft, there's a good chance you'll end up with some caves and maybe even a couple caves matter cards. And if you wanna build a constructed deck with caves, there's a card or two that might show up, though I wouldn't exactly expect a deck full of cave matters cards to take over standard or anything. It really adds some texture. Several caves have appealing effects anyway, or are easy to get into your limited deck, and from there, maybe you change the evaluation of your cave matters card slightly in the draft. Also, one thing about caves that's a bit different from gates, if they end up in your graveyard, it's usually okay. Several caves cards count ones in your graveyard too, which works well considering the common cycle that sacrifices. So what about a little hint at what to expect? Well, in all, there are 13 total caves on the front side of cards in this set, plus an additional five on the back face of double face cards as well for 18 in all. When it comes to cards where specifically caves matter, there are 12 in total, with the most of any color in green. For reference, Return to Ravnica had 14 cards for Gates Matter, and Guilds of Ravnica block had 13 cards for Gates Matter. So you can really expect the footprint to be similar, though these all are in a single set rather than spanning across a block. So now, what about a new common preview card that cares about caves you can expect to want to pick up in Limited? Well, here's a great example of what I've been talking about today. Compass Gnome. It's a 2-1 for 2, which is totally solid and limited, and helps smooth your mana early game, making sure you hit your land drops or maybe even fixing your colors. But if you have some cool caves, like the common sacrifice ones, instead, you can go search up one of those for some added value as the game goes on. I love these simple color fixers that make sure you don't have mana trouble with a bit of added utility. So point me home, Compass Gnome. So what do you think about caves? Would you like to see more? What about other flavorful types spanning all five colors for other sets? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again soon. And until then, have fun spelunking. You got this. Each of these decks has 10 brand new cards. Additionally, there are eight unique designs not found in the decks, but focused for commander, inset, and collector boosters. Kind of like how Wedding Ring or Bernard were. These kind of cards are going away when the set boosters go away, with our change in play boosters with murders at Karloff Manor, but we aren't quite there yet. So 